This was the martial art of the samurai women. It is called naganata, after the name of the weapon that they used. It's similar to the western halberd. The blade is made from the same steel as the Japanese sword blade. It is a powerful weapon when handled skillfully, almost as effective as a sword with a longer reach. As always in the martial arts, they practice with wooden weapons. This was not a sport for the samurai women. It was their defense when their homes were attacked. They had the reputation for being ferocious fighters and for dying as bravely as their men. To use the naginata properly, it must be twisted through a half circle so that the shaft is used almost as much as the bladed end. A series of slashes build up into a potent attack, blows showering down in an arc from above or scything upwards from below. Sawada Sensei shows her mastery of the weapon by the way she wields it and the ease and precision with which she stops and changes direction. Before 1945, Naginata was the usual physical training for girls at school in Japan. After the war, Naginata almost disappeared as a result of the American prohibitions. Sawada Sensei, with her colleague Yoshida Sensei, were two of those who led the revival. When the practice of martial arts was permitted again, all the remaining Naginata schools combined to develop a modern form. Traditional Naginata was the art of cutting. New Naginata is the art of striking. Suwada so Sensei teaches the classical style in the mornings, but in the afternoon the class turns to the modern combat sport. Sport Naginata schools are the most popular women's martial training in Japan today. Besides learning basic techniques, the women test each other's skills in contest. To reduce the chances of injury, the training weapons have been modified. They have a light split bamboo blade on the end of the shaft. Armor covers the main target areas, which are the head, neck, shoulders, forearms, trunk and shins. The contestants must shout out the name of their target just as they launch an attack and the judges then decide whether the blow strikes home accurately or not.